Hello fam, welcome back to my channel Love and Kids World. My name is Lovelyn and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do this delicious succulent and sweet Cameroon and goat meat in Berlin. So all the ingredients for this recipe are going to be left in the description box below. So please make sure to check it out. Now for this recipe I'm going to be using some smoked fish. This is actually fresh mackerel that I, I smoked in my oven. And I have the good meat all washed and ready to be spiced. I have some celery, green onions, and some onions as well. You can, you can also use red onions if you have. I'm using white onions because that's what I have for my garden. So I'll use part of it to spice the goat meat and also use part to, to stir fry and use it and pour it on in the dole at the end as we as we're going to see. And I also have some garlic as well. I also have this white peanut. It's mostly used for ndole. So I'm gonna be using that but not all of it. I also have my ndole. That's, it's written on it, bitter leaf ndole. I bought it from an African store, so it's ready to be cooked. But I'm just gonna put this bitter leaf in hot water with some bicarbonate just to kill some bact any bacteria in it. And I also have the chicken broth here. I'm going to use a little bit of it just to give it some extra flavor. And I have my oil that I'm going to use at the end as well. Yeah, so guys, next is for me to get everything ready before I go into the cooking proper. So right now I have some boiling water, which I'll go ahead and put some bicarbonate in it, and the bitter leaf as well. This is just to to kill any bacteria in the bitter leaf. As I said, I bought it from an African store, and also to give this bitter leaf a good texture because I I tried like it's a little bit hard. So with this hot water and bicarbonate, it's gonna make it a little bit softer. So I'm just gonna let it sit in there for two minutes and I'll squeeze it out. Then I have my good meat well spice and cooking as well. And the peanut here boiling. With this peanut, I'm just gonna cook it half, halfway cook, not fully cooked because I'm still gonna cook it with endole. And I have the green spices where so guys the good meat is ready and I have it right here then we I have the granite paste well blended then I have the meat stock here the bitter leaf is right here and I have the crushed spices here too and this onion which I'll use later so I'll just go ahead and start with the cooking. So first thing I'm going to put this chick uh, golden stock here. Sorry, the pot was really hot, but that's still okay. Guys, just so you know, gold meat is sometimes really hard to cook, depending on the age of the goat. So make sure you cook your gold meat to to be ready enough. Like mine, I use an hour 25 minutes because I, I cook it on the stove. So you can use the pressure pot, you have it as well. And then with the peanut, I actually salt it to taste. So it, when I put it in, in this good meat stock here, I'll make sure I'll, I taste it to know what quantity of maggi and salt I'll be adding later. So I'll go ahead and add the crushed green spices. Make sure you stir it well so it doesn't have lumps in it. And I'll add my fish. And I'll cover it for 10 minutes. Yeah, so guys, the peanut has been boiling for 10 minutes, but right now I have to open it and stir. 
just because I don't want it to get burned underneath. Because if your peanut is burned, it's gonna distort the taste of your andole, guys. So make sure you stir it frequently just to avoid the burning and it should be on a medium heat. Yeah, the peanut is ready, so I'll just go ahead and put the andole. As you can see, I made sure I scattered the andole so that it will be easy for me to mix it well with the peanut paste. I just make sure I mix it well so it continues well mixed with the peanut paste. And at this level, the heat should be on low. My heat is on low so that I'll, my peanut will not get burned. The indole will get, not get burned and distort my flavor and the taste of my indole. Then I'll cover it to boil for another 10 minutes. Okay, this has been boiling for 10 minutes, so we're just going to add the goat meat. Stir it to mix. Yeah, so after that, I'm just going to let it simmer for another 10 minutes. And I'll go ahead to taste to make sure everything is ready. Okay guys, as you can see, some of the water has boiled off and the dole is really looking thick now. I also just tasted it and I'm going to be adding... A tablespoon of the chicken broth and a half tablespoon of salt then I'll stir it Yeah, next I stir fried my onion before I put it in my dolly. You can also choose to put your onion without frying it guys. But no, if you fry an onion, it gives an dolly some extra flavor. If I tell you the flavor that is coming out of this dolly right now is short, it's heavenly. And again, I don't put too much oil in my dolly because yeah, too much oil is not good guys. Yeah, I just have to give it some few more stirs and let it simmer for another two to three minutes. And my dole is ready. I'll just go ahead and dish it out and let it cool down for about 10 minutes before I serve it for my family. Guys, the flavor from this dole is out of this space. You can have this with bobolo, those from Dua like I have it with plantain. Smolina, I can name the rest guys. So I'm gonna be having it with some half ripe plantains as you can see And we have come to the end of our video guys If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video. Bye. Bye